Hi, we're going to be creating a map chart using Excel. This is a pretty nice tool for certain applications. For data, we're going to be using this file, which you can get by clicking the link below. It has four sheets. The second sheet gives you the instructions of what we need to do. The third sheet gives you some data that we can use. And the fourth sheet shows what the results should look like. Okay, let's go back here to the third sheet and see the data. First thing we need to do is select the data that we're going to use, just like with any chart. I'm going to go up here and click on the label here. Click over here, click this. Okay, I've got the data selected. Now, just like with any chart, I want to insert it. So I'll go up and click on the Insert tab. And over here in the Charts group, there's a button here for Map Charts. So I'll just click on that, and there's only one option there, which is the Filled Map. Click on that, and we get a Map Chart here. But it, it is a little small here. Now, if I take my mouse and put it down here, right, and just sort of grab one of those states that's that's highlighted there, and if I right-click it, should be able to bring up a menu. And there I have an option here for Format Data Series. If I click on that, that brings up a task pane on the right side. And then I can make some changes, which will greatly improve this little map. First thing I want to do is change the type of projection here. Instead of Automatic, I'm going to choose Mercator. Okay, which is a little better. And then for the map here, instead of automatic, I want to choose only the regions with data. Okay, that should have been a default there, but uh, I'll have to do that manually. Uh, much, much better here. And let's put some labels on here. I'm going to click on the link here and put in um, show all labels. There we go. Now we know which state is which. Very, very nice. Really good. Okay, we can see by the color which uh, what the general population is for each of the states. And, and that's it. Let's close down our task pane over here on the right. And let's click away to see what it looks like. Pretty nice. Okay, so that's the map chart feature in Excel.